So uh, in this lesson, we are going to focus on the length of words of a chord in a word in a circle. This question says a chord of radius 10 cm is making an angle of 60 degrees at the center of a circle. Find the length of the word of the chord. I'm going to be providing you with the two ways in which you can do this. So let's start with the first way. Now, uh, we can start by drawing a circle for the first way. It says, remember that a chord is simply a line that does not pass through the center of a circle. So, this is a, we can call this the chord. Now, it says that it's, it has a radius of 10 centimeters. So, at the center, and it's making an angle of 60 degrees. How uh, this is how it's gonna look like. So it's making an angle here of what 60 watts, 60 degree. Now with radius of what 10 watts centimeter. So it implies that we want to find the length of this chord that is from here to here. Now this then implies that if you observe, you can see that these two sides. This is giving us a triangle, we picture this. If I should bring it out, it's giving us what? A triangle. So this is the length of the chord we are trying to what? Work out. And these angles that suspend the center is what? 60 watt degree. So these two sides are 10 centimeters. It implies that they are what? They are equal. So we want to find the length of this what? Of the chord. So how do we do this? Now, we can use a... Uh, uh, we know that the sum of the interior angles in a triangle must add up to one it. That's the first way I want to show you. So, we need to know what these angles are. So the sum of all these angles must add up to one it. So we can say uh, 60 degree plus theta plus what theta must add up to what 180 what degree. Theta plus theta is 2 theta. So we have it as 60 degree plus what 2 what. 2 theta is equal to 180 more degree. Let's move this here. So that 2 theta will be what? If we move this here, that will be 180 minus what? Minus 60. And when we subtract this, we have it to be what? 2 theta will be equal to what? Uh, 120 more degree. So if we divide both sides by 2, theta will be what? Theta will be equal to uh, 60 more degree. So which means that this remaining, this remaining uh, angles from here are 60 what degree, are 60 degree. Now, if you observe, you find out that uh, all these, uh, if the angles here are all equal, it means that we have an equilateral triangle. So which means if these two sides are 10 centimeters, it means that this other side will also be what, 10 what, centimeter. So the length of this curve, will be equal to what? The length of the chord will be equal to what? 10 what? Centimeter. There's another way in which you can do this. But let me show you the other way. That is, when we use the word, the three what function. Using the three function. Now, the three function, we draw our circle again. Now, this is the length of the word of the chord, then at the center it makes what? So it makes an angle of what? 60 degree at the center, right? Now, then having a radius of what? 10 centimeter. So another way in which you can do this, if I bring this out, I will still have a what? A triangle. We can manage this. So this is what? This is 60 degree. Now, one way in which you can do this is using the trig function. So we need to draw a perpendicular line that divides this uh, triangle. So we want to work out this side. It means that when we draw a perpendicular line, this side becomes 90 degree. So this other angle here will be what? 30 degree. Because if we draw a perpendicular line, it affects this angle here. That is half of 60, that's 30 degrees. So if I bring this out, 
I'll be having a what? A right angle triangle. So this angle here is 90 degree. Then this is 30 what degree. So we want to work out what x from here. Now remember that this length here. If I'm using this length, remember that these two sides are 10 centimeter each, right? So if I'm using this angle facing to the right, here will be what 10 what centimeter, which means that this is the hypotenuse side that faces the 90 degree. So the side, this is the side that faces what the theta angle, which is 30 degree. So which means what do we use? This is so. The three function is so cat and what and toa. Because of we have the hypotenuse and the opposite. Hypotenuse and opposite, that looks like what? That looks like a sine. Hypotenuse and opposite. So we have it to be sine what? Sine 30 will be equal to what? 30 degree will be equal to uh, this so means sine, sine theta is equals opposite over hypotenuse. So we have this to be opposite over what? Uh, hypotenuse. Sine 30 degree will be equal to what? The opposite from here is 30. So the opposite from here is x, sorry, over the hypotenuse is 10. So sine 30 is, we give us a 1 over 2, which is equal to x over what? Over 10. So we cross multiply. Uh, 2x will be equal to what? 10. If we divide both sides by 2, so the value of x will be what? 5. So we've gotten this x here to be 5. But remember, if this side is 5, what will this other side be? Here will also be 5. So, for us to know the full length, if one side is 5, we are multiplying by 2 to know the full length, which is the sum of here and here. So, which means the length of this chord will be 5, will be 5 plus 5, which gives us what? 10 centimeters. So, these are the two ways in which you can find the length of such a chord. So, I hope this video was really helpful to you. If it was, smash the subscribe button, leave a like on this video and share this video. I really appreciate that. So, I'm going to see you on the next video. Thanks so much for viewing.